Article Disclosure of Iraq's Creditors Internally and Externally Quote On April 8, the Iraqi government announced a reduction in external public debt by more than 50 percent, bringing the debt down from $19.729 billion late. In 2022, to $15.976 billion in 2023, reaching approximately $8.9 billion in the current year. Article, Office of Mr. Al-Sistani, It is expected that Wednesday will be the first day of Eid al-Fitr quote, the office's forecasts for the Crescent Times for the Hijri months indicated the possibility of seeing the Crescent of Shawal tomorrow, Tuesday, so that Wednesday will be the first day of Eid al-Fitr. Clear. Article, Iraq will become an alternative to the Suez Canal quote, Iraq will become, during the next few years, a center for international trade between the East and the Middle East and the West. Article, Iraqi economy faces threat as U.S. closes oil revenue account quote. With the closure of the DFI, Development Fund for Iraq, account, Iraq's oil revenue is now being directed to a new account, referred to as Iraq II. This transition raises concerns, banking specialist Kamran Qadir Yagub, warns the protection previously afforded to Iraq's revenue may no longer be guaranteed. Article, Al-Shamari reveals the most prominent files of Sudanese's visit to Washington and the government's ambition regarding the dollar quote, al Sudanese visit to Washington will be practical and will not be for taking pictures. The Iraqi delegation will ask the American side about the reasons for their decisions to impose sanctions on Iraqi banks. Our expectations are that the visit will be very successful. Clear. Article Statement from Press Secretary Karina Jean-Pierre on the visit of Prime Minister Mohamed Shia al-Sudani of Iraq to the White House quote on April 15, President Joe Biden will welcome Prime Minister Mohamed Shia al-Sudani of Iraq to the White House to coordinate on common priorities and reinforce the strong bilateral partnership between the United States and Iraq. Article Al Sudani intends to visit Washington to lift the ban on banks prohibited from dealing in dollars. Quote, the head of the Iraqi Securities Commission, Faisal al Hamas, announced that three Iraqi banks were sanctioned by the U.S. Treasury, and 25 banks were banned from dealing in dollars. Article The central bank announces an understanding with the U.S. Treasury to reconsider sanctions and indicates illegal trade.